In this video, I'll show you how to get started using React with Dino and V. We'll make a simple API with Oak and then use React for the front end. Let's get started. First, let's run First, let's run V. First, let's run create V extra. And we'll name it React. With the drop down, we can select Dino React. And then now, when we go into React, we can run it. And here is our default app with Dino, Vite, and React. So let's open up the code editor and let's make a very simple API. We'll do that by creating a folder as well as data.json and main.ts, which will run the server. So for the data, we'll keep it a very simple data structure. Basically, it's just going to be an array of objects, and each object will be a dinosaur that has name and description. And we got this data set from a, an article online. The credit will be in the comment section of the video. But there is a link to a whole bunch of these, and I'll just copy and paste a few just so we get an idea of what it is. Great. So next, let's update main.ts, and this is going to be primarily our server, and we'll use Oak for routing. And because this demo is mostly about React, let's just copy and paste this code from, we'll just copy and paste this code. And basically all this is doing is, uh, is basically setting up a server, setting up some routes, and then returning the data that we've created in data.json. You know, run, allow read, allow m, and allow net API, and that's yes. And if we go to localhost, you'll see that we can see the dinosaur API. We can see all, we can list all the dinosaurs in our database, and we can even retrieve a single dinosaur. So this is all from the routes that we just created. So next, let's start with the front end. Uh, our front end is going to have two routes, just slash and then slash dinosaur. And um, in order to get the routing system to work, we'll have to import React Router DOM. So let's do that by going to vconfig.mjs. And we can add that right here. Import npm React Router DOM. Now after that, all of our React stuff is going to live in this folder here. So we'll need to add, let's go to app.jsx. And let's replace all of this with our routing logic. So first we'll do import React from React. Import. And we'll need to use all of these to get the routing to work. Browser router as router, navigate, routes, and routes. And these are all from React router DOM, which we imported in vconfig.mjs. We'll also import these components which haven't been created yet, these two pages which haven't been created yet, but we'll create that in a minute. And then we'll export the default app component here. And here is where we'll set up the router.
Great. So now we have the main app component written and uh, with the correct routing. Let's go ahead and add the index and dinosaur pages. So these will be created in a new folder. Let's create that folder now. And we'll also create these files, index.jsx and dinosaur.jsx. Great. So let's start with index.jsx. This is just like any other React component. And we'll import use effect and use state to manage the state in this component. We'll also import link and use params from React Router DOM. So we'll use use state to create, to basically So we'll use use state to set the dinosaur from the API call into the component. So we'll also use use effect and this basically is just going to wait until we'll basically fetch local host And then get the JSON of it. And then we'll use set dinos to set so we'll basically use use state and use effect to set the data after we retrieve it from our API endpoint. And this component is going to return HTML. Here's that part. And we'll just put in some random copy. And here, because we have set dinos over here, we, will be, we are able to access it here using the curly braces and we'll use, and dinos here is gonna be a list. So we'll use the map function to return each individual part of that list. So dinos here basically is a list and we'll use the map function to take each dyno and return a HTML element. So here we'll just use the link because when you click on it, it's going to take you to a different page and we have to lower, set it to lowercase. very end we'll need to export the components. So that should be our index page. Let's uh, work on the dinosaur page next. And this is going to be more or less the same. You know, we can just import react, import react, use effect and use state because um, we'll basically be retrieving data from the endpoints of the specific dinosaur in this component. What's different about this one is that, you know, we will be pulling the dinosaur from the dynamic route. If you recall back here, we have, we use this route, com we use this route component to basically uh, set the dinosaur in the path itself. And then we can re retrieve it using the use params function. So here, whatever is in that endpoint will come up here. Then
we'll use use state again, as well as use effect to make a call to the server. And then do the same transformations onto the response. Then after that, we will return HTML and we'll just keep it super simple. Basically, we'll just say the name, the description, and then a link back to the home page. And then finally, we'll export this. So now that we've done dinosaur and index page, let's uh, let's start the app. Um, we'll have to make sure that we run the server as well as the front end. So the server will just do we'll do Dino allow read allow and allow net API and then. In our, and then at the same time, we will do Dino task dev. Now let's look at now let's look at the website. Here is the, is the website. Welcome to the dinosaur. Um, That's the name, whatever. When you click on the dinosaur, it should take you to a page that is just about that dinosaur. You see here's a name, here's a description, and you can link back, and here is the main thing. So this is a very simple how-to guide on how to get started with React and Dino and Vite, and I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. <laughs>